Hey guys, welcome to Riggs Garage. Today I'm going to be painting my Civics steel wheels. Now I do have a short, I'll link to that above, um, but that got a lot of views. Basically I'm showing you how to use a 15 inch factory looking wheel from a Chevy Cobalt. Uh, that's 4 by 100 bolt pattern. To get a bigger 15 inch tire on that while looking pretty factory. So I'll kind of show you what I'm doing here and then we're going to get going. Also in this video I am showing you how to mix and reduce Rust-Oleum. Uh, to paint car parts and things like that. So I'm using a $10 Harbor Freight paint gun, uh, my old compressor, and I will show you how I mix this up and what I put in it. If you like this video, hit that like button and uh, thanks for watching Riggs Garage. All right, here are the wheels. I just put the center cap on here to show you kind of what I'm up to. We just have steel wheels off a of Chevy Cobalt. And it's actually pretty windy out here off and on, but it is late October and I am gonna take 70 degree weather while I can get it. Anyway, right now I'm gonna be wiping these down I did it previously, but they've been sitting in the garage gathering dust for a month, so I blew them off, got the cobwebs off, and I'm going to get this grease and wax remover wiped all over them. Here's the crime scene. I've got everything set up on a table, cardboard here so I don't get stuff on the junky table. But anyway, the main piece of this project is the smoke gray Rust-Oleum. I just got a cord, it was like 12 bucks. I'm going to use this clear hardener and then some Japan dryer, uh, just to speed up the dry time since Rust-Oleum takes forever. And finally acetone is what I want to be using to thin this down. So I've got acetone. My mix ratio is going to be 5 to 2 to 0.3 and then one lid full of this Japan dryer. So um, if you're mixing this, these mix cans are free at O'Reilly by the way. I'm going to go ahead and put Rust-Oleum to the 5. I'm going to put Acetone to 7. And then I'll get roughly a third of the way up with the hardener. And then I'll put a lid of Japan Dry in there. I will be using this sweet $10 Harbor Freight gun. I went ahead and took it all the way apart, cleaned it, and then I did some test shots with a little bit of paint thinner in it to try to get the spray pattern and feed close. Um, but I'll need to, to redo uh, that calibration with real paint in it. I'll do that on some cardboard here. Also I'm wearing a decent respirator because this stuff will kill you. And I do have cleanup ready to go. So I'll put paint thinner in this bucket, tear my gun apart. I've got the wrench, toothbrush, and a brush there uh, to clean the, the gun quickly so I can use it again. All right, let's get to mixing. I shook this paint up. So we're gonna do five parts, Rust-Oleum. Five. Acetone, two parts. Hardener, a third of a part. Now I'll put this a lid of the Japan dryer in. Hopefully that doesn't make it red. Kind of reddish color. I'll shut some things here and give it a really good stirring. There's a lot going on here mixing paint I know from other projects. I'm not a expert painter at all. Uh, lots of chemical things happening here so give it a really good stir. Make sure everything's chemically binding for lack of better scientific words. I'm gonna go ahead and strain the paint in to my gun. Training is complete. I'm going to do a couple test hits on here to see what my pattern's looking like. I am going to start on the back. So I can get a little practice in. See how it goes.
overall, it's looking really smooth. I shot it really wet uh, and nice little overlaps of about 70%. Um, so far they look really good. So I'm excited about it. It looks like I'll need to let the fronts harden and then come back in a few days and shoot the backs because I want the front and back coated really well. So these will look good for years to come. So here is a wet coat and a half. You can see the shine, my reflection in here. It's looking good. Please Jesus, no bugs. Stay out of here, bugs. Just get tacky enough, come on. I don't see fish eyes. There are a few fish eyes inside here, but I don't care. I just wanted the rim here where you see it. That's where a lot of wheel and tire paint jobs go bad. It's because people will paint with tires on and they don't do a good job masking around here. But painting it with the rims free of tires, it's gonna look great. And these smell nice and toxic too, with that acetone vaporizing into the air here. So definitely glad I put on the respirator. I'm letting my air compressor cool off also because it ran pretty much the whole time. Uh, it's not made for <laughs> running a spray gun. I need a bigger one. So this is a cheap one that I got like in the year 2000 for Christmas. And yes, I would have been in fifth grade when I got it. So I'll give these about 15 more minutes to tack up and then I'll shoot a third thick coat on. I don't remember if I mentioned before, but I am shooting this at like 35 PSI with that Harbor Freight paint gun. So it seems to be laying on nice. Uh, I just did the third coat. I don't see any runs. If you have any tiny fish eyes, it's good to let them harden up really well and then lightly shoot over them. And I had a couple on the very rims that nobody would see. Like these fish eyes here. But um, yeah, see on the rim here, there's almost no fish eyes. But yeah, I get this really smooth finish. I've done this with spray cans many times, but this is my first time with a gun. But I just get the super smooth finish by making sure it tacks between coats or overlapping each pass, I should say, with uh, about 70% overlap. But just kind of getting a feel for not too much paint. I think these are going so well because I basically made the same spray pattern as a spray can. I'm feeling like I'm just shooting spray cans at this point. Very shiny. Now stay out bugs. I see there's a freaking bug and there's a bug. There's nothing I can do right now. I'm just gonna let it dry and then brush the bugs out. The bugs came in subsequent coats so there should be paint under them and I'll just brush them out and uh, the wheels will probably be good enough. Well I went to discount tire and I mounted my Neo Next Gen 205 15s to the wheel. How would you say it turned out? I'd say they're a really good sleeper wheel for a Turbo Civic uh, that's kind of beat up looking and I think it's going to do a really good job. I know they're not the lightest wheel but uh, they look really good and if I need to go to the track later I can get lighter wheels off of Facebook Marketplace about any time. Thanks for watching Rigs Garage. Hit that subscribe button and I appreciate you watching.